This is by far the coolest Valentine's box we have ever made here in the McNeil house. Guys, are you ready for this? One, two, three. Welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with us. We are getting a little bit of a late start on the vlog today because Terry and I just got back from a date. We went out for pedicures. It was my very first pedicure. My feet are feeling very silky smooth. Terry, how are your feet feeling? You had it propped up on the counter there. I was going <laughs> to see if we could get a shot of your pretty toes. Terry wants to make sure that her feet are looking nice for the doctor when she gets her knee operated on. But, ooh, very, very pretty toes you got going on there, Terry. Good work. The girls are wanting to get a jump start on their Valentine's Day boxes yesterday. They got their treats put together. Today, they are gonna get their boxes built. Claire is going to build what? A vending machine. A vending machine. The box, this box right here, is gonna be like a red or a solid color. We're gonna cut up this foam that we got. Uh, what was inside this? That's for the pizza stone. Oh, the in. pizza stone was wrapped in this. So we're gonna cut that up, have it be kind of a section where you can look in to see what's inside the vending machine. We'll have the dollar dispenser or a changer, whatever you wanna call it, acceptor right there. So that was like three different words. I think I got acceptor, the right one. Changer, <laughs> and we'll be oh, right there. <laughs> And then uh, what's gonna be below that? I think there's like a couple of things over here on this side. We're gonna have a little button here at the bottom, like little thing that you push where, that's where your soda or candy would come out, the bottom. Oh yeah, the um, buttons that you have to press to get like your candy, like A, B, uh, or something. Yeah. That's what we'll put right there. The button's there. So that's gonna be very cool, great idea. Carmen is gonna use this Cheerios box right here, or Fruity Pebbles. This Fruity Pebbles. Bigger. And it is gonna be what, Carmen? A llama. A llama. Mm -hmm. So cute. So it's gonna be wrapped in white with a cute little llama face with some llama ears and anything else. It's gonna be so cute. There's gonna be like a little flower headband type thing around it. Nice. All right. But we've got to head to Walmart right now to get a few supplies. Run it. Ready? Girls to the car. We're back at Walmart again. Deja vu from yesterday, but apparently the girls are <laughs> gung ho on getting these boxes done tonight. So, and not to mention, we're getting nervous that there's enough supplies here. Yeah. Uh, to get this thing done. So if we just find some red stuff. We do this one, that way there's more of a contrast with the white pieces and it'll be easier to do the buttons and everything else, so. Plain red, now we need plain white for Carmen. I think we gotta go to the next aisle. We have to go to the birthday You would think that like maybe some of this wrapper paper, wrapping paper would be white on the back, but I don't think that it is. You know what, hold up, put that back. That's, yeah. that's clear. That's like cellophane. That's just it is red. Clear. Like Crash red down. cellophane, yeah. We don't want that. All right, cancel that. Find some white. Yeah, it has just like tiny polka dots on it that you can barely Oh, that's see. okay. That'll work. Five. That will work. That'll work. Bright pink, that works. Carmen, what do you think about giant glasses for your llama? Do you want giant glasses for your llama, Carm? Yeah. <laughs> All right, sure. Mm. These things they actually fit against my ears because they're like bent in back to a normal person's <laughs> head. They look great. All right, try these on. They're perfect for Valentine's Day. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try these. They're a little big for my face. No, no. Not size. actually. They're a little too small for your face. They're definitely too small for Carmen's face. <laughs> big it's like face. a windshield. <laughs> have a lot more stuff here to choose from. It looks like there's more star or um, hearts. Got some pipe cleaners. Do they have any fake Those eyelashes? Are not Those are glitter fuzzy sticks. Oh. Well, they used to be called pipe cleaners back in the day. Really? Well, they are pipe cleaners. They're just the Walmart brand, so they're glitter for these days. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. All right, Carmen, did you find any eyelashes or anything we could use for eyelashes? No. Maybe we just draw them on with a magic marker. All right, I think we've gathered up most all the supplies. We're gonna try and find some really long fake eyelashes for Carmen to put on her llama. And then Claire needs some little mini snack sized candy bars. And then I think we have everything. We can head home and try and get these boxes put together. We have found the eyelash jackpot. Wowza, Carm. I think you should find ones. the longest, biggest ones you can find. Yeah, get those. Those are huge. So let's see them. Those will be so cute. And you're gonna be sleeping like. <laughs> it's gonna be an adorable llama. We have made it back to the house. Harry is helping Carmen get her box wrapped so we can get those llama going, getting the paper cuts. Carmen actually went and found the hot glue gun which we're gonna need. And Claire is trying to decide how we're gonna do her box. And once we get this foam cut, we will set it on here, cut out a section of this box, and then slip it down inside. Being white, we'll have a nice contrast with the candy bars. We got some candy bars over here in the bag, ready to go. Six flavors, we're gonna make this happen. Claire, can you cut this thing out right here? 
here. I marked it out to use the tape measure and this marker. Got a black line in there. Okay, so I'm like really confused by this. So what do I, so just cut the black line? This is the piece we need right here. So cut this black line and that black line. And then we're gonna kind of do a border like what's here. We're gonna do that border here and here, but then we're gonna build it up a little bit higher. All right, I need a knife. Terry has got the box wrapped. Carmen is getting the hot glue warmed up. Alma, what are you cutting out right now? Llama hair. Llama hair. <laughs> Great. Flower crown. Flower crown. We're gonna get this glued on, and then we'll do the ears. And then the hardest part is gonna be the face, I feel like. I agree. All right, Claire and I have been working on this piece right here. You've got it cut out. We've got these two extra pieces that we've got to glue on to the top and the bottom. And then we're going to take this while we're waiting for the glue gun. We're going to set it on top of your box right in the corner, right? Because we're going to recess it down inside of this cardboard box. So we need to kind of square it up to the edges and then trace that out with a Sharpie. I've got one right here. And then once you trace out the Sharpie marks, then we'll cut out the cardboard and recess that piece down inside. Like right there? Yeah, I'd say that's good. I'll hold the top right here, you hold the side. So make sure it's coming over within about an eighth. That looks pretty good right there. Perfect. All right, we're gonna test fit our white piece, see if it fits inside. It's looking like it's going in there. So we just gotta figure out how to secure it, but it looks like it's gonna work. I'm confused, cause the candy was supposed to go in the middle. Or do we have to? Now know. the candy will go onto this piece once that piece is inside there. Okay. Oh yeah, and then the buttons. <laughs> it's gonna look so cute. <laughs> so uh, we've got the llama hair over here all cut out. What are you guys working on right now? The ears. The ears. The ears. It's kind of tricky. The ears are kind of funny shape, aren't they? I'm gonna cut this one out and then we'll trace it to replicate the other one. <laughs> Very smart. The glue's kind of melting the foam a little bit, but I think it's gonna work. Mm -hmm. All right, so we want our box here. Even though we're only gonna have like an inch showing, we're gonna make it so it's flush to the front. So this measurement was three and an eight. This here was inch and three quarters. We did the math and we need to build up an inch and three eighths. So I cut some strips and I'm just kind of securing those with some toothpicks first. And then I'll run a bead of glue on those. And then once we trim it and set it inside there, this should be perfectly flush with the front of your box. Carmen and Terry are getting very close on this llama. Just putting on hard eyeballs. Is it hot? Did you burn yourself, Terry? No, I did not. Very close. Boom. It means it's lashes and it's done. Wow. It is getting Oh no, and it's now. It doesn't even mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that looks cute. It's good. What about the glasses? Are we using the glasses? No. How is oh, it good? Oh man. I don't, I don't know. This mouth is. It's like a mustache. Cute little mouth. <laughs> All right. We should make a tongue for it. That would be cute. We need to borrow the hot glue gun. Claire over here is ready to glue on her candies. Yes, ma'am, sir. So let's let the glue dry for just a second before we stick that so it doesn't melt all the way through. So leave those upside down. Just glue all of them and then let's sit and then we'll stick them in just a second. It's kind of melting our styrofoam over here. All right, Carmen's box is completely finished. We got the cute eyelashes stuck on there. Turned out adorable. Carmen added a little tongue coming out of the llama's mouth. I think it turned out so cute. All right, moving on to Claire's project. I'm gonna help them get this box all wrapped up in the pink wrapping paper, and then Clay and Claire have the candies all ready to go in. And this thing is actually coming together a little quicker than I thought it was going to. When I first saw the picture, I thought this is gonna take forever. But with all hands on deck here, we're getting it done pretty quick. All right, Carmen here is helping Claire out. She just made the dollar bill acceptor. Look at this thing. I cut the hole in it and Carmen slid the dollar in and taped it on the back so that way when we're done at the box, you can still use the dollar, right? We don't wanna waste that dollar, but you're gonna have to watch this box because I'm afraid you might have a few kids in your class that might wanna steal that dollar. But it's taped on there, so. We taped it on pretty good, but still, I think if they ripped it, you know, pulled on hard enough, they might be able to get it. They would rip it though. All right. Terry has got the box wrapped. We still need to cut out the hole yeah. for the goody thing to go inside. Is that on this side or is that on the other side? Oh really, I have a knife for you. You ready? There you go, watch your fingers. Jeez, Terry, did you not hear watch your fingers? <laughs> so I would cut an X from this thing and then from corner to corner. That's so satisfying. 
All right, we are pushing in this little candy piece right here. It's going in nice and lush. Beautiful. Claire, you seem pretty excited about this. I am. <laughs> this is apparently a big deal in the sixth grade. Is how cool can your Valentine's box be? That and in the fourth grade, right? Cute. <laughs> We don't even know if they're supposed to make Valentine's boxes, honestly. Oh, really? Some teachers like them, some teachers don't, but... Well, the principal's gonna love this Regardless, one. these teachers are getting Valentine's boxes from our kids to, this year. There's the money. Should I glue it on? Yes. Yeah, we're gonna glue that on. What is going... Oh, the keypad. The number pad is right here. We're gonna get it uh, decorated and put on there and wrap this thing up. We are just putting on the final touches on Claire's box. This is by far the coolest Valentine's box we have ever made here in the McNeil house. Guys, are you ready for this? One, two, three. Hold it up. So, we have a little a quarter We have in a quarter here. in the change dispenser. We got a dollar up here in the dollar acceptor. All the candy's over here, some hearts. And this is where your goodies come out right here. You push that in. Boom, candy drops down. We still have to cut a hole in the top, but that is the last thing to do. That way Claire can accept all of her Valentine's from all of her, you know, friends. Yep. At school, Carmen, show us yours one more time. The llama. Did you come up with a name for it? Lala. Lala. Lala the llama. I love it, it's so cute. The boys were out with their friends tonight, so they were not able to make it in today's video. They should be home here very soon, but we gotta get ready for bed. We're extremely tired, <laughs> but the girls are completely ready for Valentine's one month early. We went back to the same Valentine's aisle that we were there yesterday, and sure enough, we don't think that we're early. It's gone. That's the joys of living in Utah. When <laughs> the seasonal stuff changes, if you're not on top of it right after like Christmas ends, Valentine's is out, and if you're not on top of it, it's gone. It's the same thing with like 4th of July will be coming out in Hobby Lobby here in the next like right after valentine's day i bet fourth of july stuff starts coming out really yeah good night i was thinking like all these high schoolers like asking you know girls to be their valentines or to dances and stuff like that like those guys could be down there buying all this stuff up too <laughs> it's the way it is here in it's, utah it's insane <laughs> so guys we appreciate you watching we love you i'll see you guys back here tomorrow